Welcome back. Today we'll continue tearing down this Realme power bank and test if it can charge my laptop. Cut the graphite tape. Two screws under the tape. The cover still dose and tea comes off. It's glued to the battery. It's quite a terrible design compared to the fake one. Because you're likely to damage the battery while removing it. It'll use some alcohol to soften the adhesive. And use a plastic pick to cut the battery. Metal tools can easily damage it. The adhesive is extremely strong. With a lot of force it finally came apart. The battery is slightly damaged. But luckily not punctured. So it's totally fine. Finally get the camera to focus on the board. Here are some version number again. Some SMD inductor. The board is much more complicated this time. Got the board out off camera. Unfortunately it's connected directly to the battery tab. So I have to remove the battery from the mid frame. Finally get the battery out. The real one is built more solidly. But also a lot harder to repair. And the fake one don't have a light diffuser at the front. The 
fake one also don't have a graphite tape because it's only 18w let's take a clear look of the board finally here are some many pin chip probably microcontroller a power MOSFET this is probably a protection for battery a button NTC thermistor is not omitted on the real one battery terminals another power MOSFET so it's probably synchronous boost converter which is more efficient now it's time to repair it the USP connector doesn't charge nor discharge so I disconnected the battery and reconnect it because restart fix everything let's test it now the lights comes on and the tester now recognize it as 45 WPD charger other voltages also works it does support 45 W max but it's kind of a clickbait because 20 V is 40 W max and most devices support 20 V only so it's 40 W only tech finally let's test the current capability 1 amp Two amp, two point five, three amp. The voltage dropped on the connector, not the regulator. Nine volts. One amp. 2 amps 3 amps Voltage dropped a bit but still fine 12 volts My load is complaining It's only rate 35 W Let's reduce the current a bit carefully got it up to 3 amp almost at full load 15 volts my load is getting extremely hot can't test it at full load unfortunately 20 volts limited to my load again let's charge it with my DIY power bank
it's rate 65W. But it can actually supply 100W. It's charging at 15 volts 3 amps. Same as rate 45W. Now comes the interesting part. Let's actually test it with my laptop. The model number is ThinkPad X230 tablet. The screen is quite reflective. But luckily it's rough so you can't see me. It not only have the traditional round connector but also support USP. Now let's connect the power bank. It successfully triggered 20 volts. Switch my laptop on. The current probably gone over 45W peak. 40W is not enough for a laptop. Let's test my DIY one. It also triggered after a few seconds. Unlock it. It booted into Windows just fine. The screen is flickering in camera. Not sure why. It draws more than 40W when the CPU is at full load. But my DIY power bank worked just fine. Now let's test the fake one. Of course it's not going to work. Not even triggering. Because it doesn't support 20 volts. So the conclusion is. This one is the best Mi Power Bank clone so far. It not only have real USP power delivery, but also have almost identical case. It's not possible to tell without the real one side by side. Or just a USB tester. But the tester is more expensive than the power bank itself. So it's not something everyone will have. So always buy Xiaomi products from the official website. Don't save few dollars but get a fake product. That's it for this video.
Always get the official product. And see you in my next video. Probably about my DIY power bank.